triple jump. Here is Inessa Kravitz, and she's in trouble. Two no jumps in the first two rounds of the competition. So she needs a good jump now to go through to the last eight. Yolanda Chen was in the same position, and she only managed 14.05, and she lies eighth. Kravitz has certainly got to do better than that if she's going to make the final. Former world record holder at 14.95. Here she comes with measured approach, long run, out she goes. Oh, good heavens, that's, that's well beyond 15 metres. That's a world record. Wow, well, Jonathan Edwards did the world record in the men's event. Kravitz, I thought, might just go for a safe jump there to get through to the final. She ignores that, and she's leapt out to well beyond the 15 metres. That has to be a world record, because that's at 15.09, and this is an awfully long way beyond that. She sometimes appears to be almost lethargic on the runway, but this was a bit quicker and enormous spring. Well, Kravitz has regained her world record, and in what circumstances, after two no-jumps? Wind speed legal, 0.9 meters per second. An agonizing delay while the measurement's done, but I think she knows it's a wonderful performance because it was so 15 meters, 50, 41 centimeters on top of the world record. The second world record of these world championships, or rather the third, I should say, all in the triple jump. Two in the men's by Edwards, and now Kravitz and the crowd rising to this supreme performance by the Young lady from Ukraine, 28 years of age, the Olympic silver medalist at long jump, turning to this event. She had set a world record back in 1991. It had been taken by Beryukova. Now she regains it. And how will the rest of the field respond to that? A rare smile from Kravitz, absolutely delighted.